Hello YouTube viewers and subscribers. Check this shit out. Finally, finally after long searching, I finally actually got a Precision Aeroworks engine. I happened to find this on RC Groups and it turns out I bought it from a subscriber of mine. I didn't even realize that was his username at the time. Uh, it's actually the same fellow that sent me the uh, Davis diesel head for the Super Tiger 3000 engine. This is a Precision Aeroworks 149DS-4. I don't know what all of those mean, all those numbers stand for, but it's a 1.49 cubic centimeter engine made in England. It says radio control here. I got the box and everything. <coughs> so enough of me babbling about it. Let's open this baby up and see what we got inside here. So I'm super excited. Let me just yank this thing out of the bag here real quick. Now, oops, something just fell on the floor and it was the needle valve. So let's see what we got here. We have engine, needle valve, and instruction sheet. So the story behind this engine is uh, the fellow that sold this to me got it with a group of engines. <clears throat> so I he doesn't believe it's ever been run so I'm gonna do my sniff test on it and I'm smelling it and I don't believe it's ever been run so I've got a new in box precision aeroworks engine here which just excites the hell out of me because I've wanted one of these quality pieces of uh, artwork I guess I can say for a very very long time I don't know how old this engine is. I don't know much about Precision Aeroworks. I don't know if they're still in business, if this engine is still being made. I don't know any of those things. All I do know is that this is mine and I'm excited about it. And, let me zoom in there so you can see it a little bit closer. I'm just super stoked. Uh, I don't run diesels that often. I'm really what I would consider a noob still when it comes to running diesel engines I've run my 40 FP with a diesel conversion and that's the extent no I actually had an ME snipe that I ran a couple of times and then sold but the thing that's cool about this engine is it's basically the same displacement as this one the MK17 I believe this is also a 1.49 uh, let's see here a 1.5 cc engine. So in addition to the MK17, now I'll have a real uh, compression ignition engine, I guess I should say. Not that this one isn't real, but this, from what I understand, is basically the standard set for all uh, compression ignition engines. At least that's what I gather that this is about the highest quality you can get. I could be wrong, I probably am, it wouldn't be the first time, but anyway I just wanted to share with you that I'm super excited about this and look forward to seeing some videos of this in the future. Precision Arrow Works 1.49 cubic centimeter engine. Thank you for watching.